Hello and welcome to Focus Asia from our studios in Hong Kong. I'm Jennifer Lee. Malaria is one of the leading causes of death in the developing world. Yet it is a disease that can be prevented, even cured. While science has struggled for years to wipe out malaria, it has fought a largely losing battle. Now doctors are becoming increasingly alarmed at the spread of another mosquito-borne disease, dengue fever, which afflicts 60 million people a year. Susan Yu reports from Singapore. These days, few have such an innocuous view of these beasts of prey. 2,700 species of mosquitoes are known to man, but three are an enemy of mankind. One is the Aedes aegypti mosquito, active from dawn to dusk and recognized by the black and white stripes on its legs and body. It's the female that feeds on human blood. And if she carries the dengue virus and bites you, you're at risk of developing dengue fever, or even the potentially fatal dengue hemorrhagic fever. First, I thought it's just some fever. So it's like, but when I go to the doctor, the fever went pretty high. I received some medications, but somehow after two days, the fever never really go down. So I double checked with the doctor again, and they asked me to go for a blood test. And Okay, we suspected it's dengue, we came to the hospital. I was feeling weak, really weak, wobbly. I got headaches and I feel like vomiting. I feel very feverish as well. It wasn't long before Lek Sok Yen found herself on a drip, taking in intravenous fluids. Despite her ordeal, the Singaporean considers herself lucky. I feel like I was pretty fortunate in that way because when I first go to the doctor, the doctor suspected it's dengue. The 21-year-old is one of more than a thousand Singaporeans who have contracted the mosquito-borne disease this year. Okay. Luckily, only a handful suffered from the deadly hemorrhagic form of dengue. That occurs when a victim is infected a second time with one of the four dengue viruses. It affects healthy young people mainly, and the disease has a very limited, uh, as it were, duration. Some of them can get very seriously ill and one or two may die. Dengue has struck other Asian countries with a vengeance. Malaysia, Vietnam, Thailand and Taiwan have all seen a surge in infections this year. Hong Kong recently confirmed its first local infections. The number of dengue fever infections has increased so alarmingly in the Asia-Pacific region that the World Health Organization issued a global dengue fever warning this summer. In Asia alone, nearly 100 deaths have been recorded this year. But health providers believe the number of victims and fatalities is much worse. It's estimated 9 out of every 10 dengue infections uh, go unnoticed. That means the person who has been infected doesn't develop any fever, doesn't develop any other symptoms. And so this person who, who's apparently healthy can carry the virus with him for 5 to 7 days. And during that period, he can travel to any part of the world. If he happens to come across a mosquito, the Aedes aegypti, Aedes albopictus mosquito, then the mosquito bites him. The mosquito will then become infective and can then infect other people. This is how Singapore tries to stop the Aedes mosquito from spreading dengue. This exercise is part of the island state dengue control program, which has been in place since 1970. Today we are doing this area. Okay. Yesterday we were here. Okay. And today here. Right. Goldie Bang Tomorrow, supervises the spraying. Let's start from this adjacent road. It's a three hour fogging operation, covering outdoor and indoor areas. Along with the fogging, there's another line of defense, mosquito traps. If we find any breeding here, then we will deploy our men to check the houses in the area. And how often do you check these traps? This is weekly. Our men will check weekly. And then we will collect the larvae back to our office to identify the species. What was the worst case you've ever come across? Um, about three months ago at Parker Road, there's an outbreak there, about more than 50 cases. Of the 50 cases, about 
40 over volts from, were from the same consensus site. If you look at uh, dengue control and throughout the world, uh, really WHO has only uh, has often held up two models, and that's uh, Singapore and, and Cuba, as the only two countries that actually managed to have some form of systematic vector control throughout the whole country. But the government isn't taking its success for granted. Research is underway to investigate the mosquito's resilience to control measures like insecticide. Uh, what we do is uh, we rear them here in the lab to carry out experiments on them. Uh, several things we want to look at. One is uh, whether they've developed uh, pesticide resistance in the field. Uh, we compare it to the strains that we've kept in the lab for ten, more than 10 years now. From the data that we have uh, gathered and from past studies that we have done, it suggests that uh, the mosquitoes have in some way adapted to our control measures. The recent global outbreaks of dengue fever have spurred more research into controlling and combating the mosquito-borne disease. For now, researchers are focusing on diagnosis and treatment. Dr. Vincent Chow is behind the recent development of a quick test kit for dengue. Dengue is diagnosed conventionally by looking for a rise in antibodies. But these antibodies uh, come up rather late after the infection is acquired. It comes up at least seven days or more after the acquisition of infection. So our motivation was to try to look for a more rapid test which could pick up the virus in the bloodstream. The kit can detect the presence of the dengue virus in three days compared to the normal seven-day wait for confirmation of infection. It's currently being used on a trial basis in Malaysia. What would be the greatest benefit from rapid diagnosis would be better management of patients, particularly uh, those patients who are in danger of complications such as hemorrhage and shock. Doctors know that it will take more than just a quick test kit to combat dengue. In early 2003, Singapore will become home to the region's first tropical diseases research centre. 70 scientists will look into how to prevent and treat dengue viral infections, which are expected to crop up in the unlikeliest of places. Dengue uh, is thought to be the poor man's disease because it's a disease of developing countries. But we are seeing dengue going even into, potentially going into developed countries such as the United States. Experts predict it will be another 10 years before a vaccine is developed. Regardless, these tiny creatures are here to stay, respecting no boundaries and spreading disease wherever and whenever they bite.